Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a minimal makeup look that I have been really loving recently. So I am barefaced and ready to get some makeup on. So if you want to see a minimal makeup look that still has some decent coverage, then keep on watching. So we are going to get started with my base this morning. And though I love a minimal makeup look, this is not one of those like no makeup makeup videos like you know there's a difference between no makeup makeup and minimal makeup because minimal makeup can look minimal but be like a lot of products or quite good coverage but no makeup makeup is like you're literally using like the bare minimum and that is not me because i have a lot of scarring so if you came here expecting me to just like touch my face and this is it mm -mm. i have a lot of scarring which thankfully is lifting really well i'm really happy with my skin at the moment a few years ago this would have been like not a good skin day for me, but right now I'm so happy with it. But even though I work from home, I still like to feel pulled together. I have a lot of Zoom calls and I do generally like to have a really flawless base. Everything else I can take it or leave it, but because of my scarring on my skin, that's something that makes me feel very pulled together. So I'm going to get started with the By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see, you can really see my skin. Come on now. <laughs> I love that you guys love seeing this though, because this is, this is the kind of YouTube video that I like to watch. I want to see someone's like actual skin close up. Like no boundaries, invade your personal space, kind of close, you know? So I just pumped this like right onto my face. I don't know why I've got into this really weird habit of doing this recently. And I wanted this minimal makeup look to feel a little bit more like spring theme. So we're going for a really beautiful glow with this look. So it's going to have good coverage, but still feel like skin and have a really gorgeous glow to it. I'm buffing this in with like a fluffy spectrum brush, like a buffing brush, and I take it down my neck as well, just to make sure it's all really seamless and matches up with my chest and everything. And this looks crazy when I first put it on, but as you'll be able to tell as we go through the video, the color of this actually settles and it doesn't look as crazy as it looks when I'm first putting it on, like it looks really dark right now. But as you can see, it's starting to settle around here. And as I blend it more, it will look even more skin-like and it just gives the most incredible glow this is definitely one of those luxury products which i think is worth the hype and worth the purchase so as you can see it doesn't give much coverage but it just gives the most gorgeous glow and like a hint of color to my skin which is so lovely and as you can see that color has really settled because it's not looking all that dissimilar from my forehead. I'm really excited to show you some new products in today's video. I was saying in my morning routine that I could feel a makeup switch up coming. I just didn't know what it was yet. I feel like that left me very open to the idea of new products. And when I got some new Armani products gifted to me, I tried them and I loved them. And I got so many compliments on this makeup look that I did yesterday. Lots of you were asking about it on Insta stories. So I decided to pull it in to this video. I'm basically recreating the look from Insta stories last week, but without the red lip, because it's the end of the week, we're rolling towards the weekend, and <laughs> I just want those lovely minimal vibes. So that is my skin just with the By Terry CC Serum on. If you wanted to, you could skip foundation if you either wanna let your skin breathe, or you have lovely skin that doesn't need the extra coverage. I personally love the extra coverage. I love the way foundation evens out my skin, which this won't do. This will just give you some color and some glow, but if you want that, you can like skip all of the rest of the foundation steps in this video. That would probably bring it down to like a 10 product makeup look as well. I'll list in the info box like what I would recommend if you wanted to make this like a no makeup makeup kind of look. Next, I have gone back to an old favorite. This is the YSL Touche Eclat. I've been a fan of this foundation for I would say about seven years now, maybe longer. I think it might be nearing a decade if I'm very honest. I use the shade BD40. I'm just pumping it onto the same brush. And as always, I will say if you are currently suffering with a real heavy bout of breakouts or acne i would tweak the order in which i apply these products a little bit i've actually done an acne scarring coverage like high coverage makeup tutorial which basically the order of this and the kind of application method is just switched around a little bit so i will link that in the corner of the screen if you want to go and watch it because that routine was so important to me over the summer when my skin was the worst it's ever been i will do an updated skincare chat for you in a vlog soon because i've talked about it a few times but in separate videos so i definitely want to put it all in one place for you maybe i'll do a blog post i don't know if that'd be easier no one seems to really be that interested in skincare on youtube anymore so as you can see we've got this lovely glow and a really beautiful amount of coverage as well i think i could happily just use that foundation and kind of go about my daily life if i'm very honest like you can only just really see my scarring here and just about here where it's very very dark but otherwise this foundation has 
the best glow and the best coverage while still looking very skin-like but in a flawless way it really evens out my skin tone i love it it's also covered my forehead fairly well as well but for those of you who are looking for a minimal makeup look but with a more like flawless high coverage face i feel like those are so hard to find minimal makeup looks are usually just minimal products and actually you can have a minimal makeup look but use a lot of makeup so i feel like there's a real gap in the market for that but anyway i'm using the kevin aquan foundation balm i just stipple that really lightly into my skin this is the shade fb06 and it's just a little bit light so it's kind of almost highlighting the area that i wanted to cover so i'm just gonna dab it in with my fingers because my finger will take a little bit of the product off as well but also just like melt it into my skin i'm gonna use the excess on my chin because i like to highlight my chin let's try that again i'm going to use fb 7.5 which is slightly darker and i'm just going to go over those areas need a little bit of extra coverage i'm doing this without a mirror by the way so i need to check and make sure things aren't going horribly wrong this is also quite a matte foundation balm like it's lovely because it's a balm so it has that like slip and creaminess to it but it's not too creamy that it's just going to slide off the areas that you want covered and that's like the best thing about it so in addition to using it to cover which it does so well i also just kind of take it up a little bit and use it to mat down the center areas of my face but without using a powder this product is how i get away with very rarely ever powdering i just apply it my bronzer kind of in a light layer over the top and that doesn't normally go so heavily in the center of my face and this helps to add like a tiny bit of coverage but also mat it down which is lovely i love that it's like the perfect mix of like glowy but like good coverage skin, I love it. Next, I'm just gonna add a little bit of contour using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. I love this. I take it on, yeah, again, the same brush, and I'm just going to push it into my cheekbones, and it just gives a really subtle, but really effective little bit of contouring to the cheekbones. This is perfect for a minimal makeup look, because it's not crazy dark, so it looks like a really nice natural contour. I take that up my temple, and then onto my forehead like through my hairline as well i always try but kind of fail not to be too aggressive with this because i don't want to like dislodge any of the product on my forehead but i am quite rough with it if you have anything you're trying to cover proceed with caution and i also do my nose as well i just use the same brush recently when i did my makeup i've been using like a really small brush and being really precise with the nose contour i'm not really doing that with a minimal makeup look because i don't want any kind of like really harsh lines and i'm also just dabbing a little bit here on my jawline just to give a little bit of extra definition i really love that i could just happily go about my day like this this is how i probably feel like my best is just with a really glowy flawless base i might actually start adopting this more for like work days where i don't need to have too much makeup on because this skin is lovely but anyway continuing with the glowy gorgeous skin for spring i'm going to be using these from Giorgio Armani they're the fluid sheer glow enhancers this is in the shade 5 and this is in the shade 10 so we've got a lovely very sheer liquid blush and then a lovely very sheer liquid bronzer so I pump that onto the back of my hand and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it and this really is super sheer but I just thought it was so pretty and so perfect for like minimal makeup of days it gives a really beautiful glow to the cheekbones which is why i haven't gone for any highlighter today and you guys know i love my charlotte tilbury highlighter so it's just a really subtle flush to the cheeks and i like to take it a little bit higher than i normally would with a blush so i basically put it where i would put highlighter and also blush now if you're covering any breakouts or anything i would definitely use a setting spray and wait for it to fully set before doing this step because you don't want to dislodge any of the makeup that you've already applied it's just such a pretty flush and also kind of brings a little bit of like a skin like look back to the skin which is lovely and if you have any excess you can just dab that on your lips and it will just give a lovely pinky tone it will also highlight your cupid's bow really nicely as well which is something that i just love when i'm doing no makeup looks the cupid's bow the whole lip area has to be highlighted otherwise my lips like disappear into my face and then we're also going to add a little bit of the fluid sheer kind of to nose temples anywhere that the sun would naturally catch i'm actually using my concealer setting brush to do this because i didn't want to use my fingers because i'm going to do such a big area but this is a lot more gentle than my buffing brush that i used earlier i really love these fluid shears i think i've maybe used them before but a very 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 long time ago when they first launched and i don't think it was really the right product for me at the time and if you wanted to you could also use these like as a wash over your eyelid as well i'm going to put a little bit of something on my eyelids but they would also make really lovely very like no makeup makeup y eyeshadows in fact these with the by terry cc serum if you're looking for like the glowiest no makeup makeup look for spring 
that would be it so shockingly that is where i'm actually going to leave bronzer today which is so rare for me lots of you if you watch my makeup videos will know however if you have oilier skin it might be worth using a powder bronzer over the top or just using a powder bronzer instead if you want to keep the amount of makeup products that you're using minimal and using this one from Giorgio Armani because I smashed my Fenty beauty bronzer my powder one and I was very very sad about it but I also love the hourglass one if you're looking for an affordable alternative rimmel always do amazing high street bronzers like affordable bronzers and so do l'oreal l'oreal also do really good like cream contours as well if you're looking for a cream contour alternative the only thing i would say is that they're never in as cool a tone so you don't get that like ashy tone that gives you like a real looking contour if that makes sense i'm going to move on to eyeshadow and i'm going to use this as a base it's the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in the shade jean this is lovely it's like the most gorgeous champagne tone i'm just taking that over my eyelids with my fingers this is the lovely thing about minimal makeup as well as you can use your fingers a lot if you want to clean fingers obby but you don't have to have like a million brushes to do this kind of makeup very easy very foolproof you could even use your hands to do like the cream bronzers if you want to so yeah i've just blended that out with my finger however i am going to go in just with a matte brown this matte brown from a Too Faced palette but any matte brown you could actually use your bronzer if you wanted to if you wanted to keep the amount of products used minimal i like to take this fluffy brush from real techniques this isn't the one i normally use this is even fluffier and i love it it blends so nicely so just swirl that in the outer corner that's where i want all the definition and then take it over the rest of the eyelid and kind of like graduate it in and then i really blend it out like i take it right up to the brow bone so you can't see any lines like there's no lines of definition i take it all the way over the eyeshadow so that it sets it really nicely as well because my eyelids are a little bit oily and for mascara you can take it or leave it depending on what kind of vibe you're going for if you want that very like no makeup y kind of makeup look leave mascara always but if you have lighter eyelashes and you just feel a bit bare without them you can add a little bit of definition using a mascara my mascara of choice is always bare minerals lash topia just love it and this one gives such a natural fluttery look one of the things i really love about this mascara is no matter what the makeup look whether i want like really full-on bold lashes with winged liner and i want my lashes to really stand out even with winged liner behind which usually can like kind of take over and really hide your lashes whether it's that or it's like a smoky look or a more paired back strips back makeup look this mascara just always looks good you know you get some that they only really work if you're doing like a bold makeup look or a minimal makeup look this one is so versatile and it's one of those mascaras that looks good throughout the day like it can withstand a long day sometimes you use mascaras and they look great when you first put them on and then throughout the day they like start to crumble or your eyelashes just seem to shrink you're like what the hell my eyelashes were so much longer at the start of the day and now they just look like i might as well not have bothered this mascara does not do that it always looks good and if i've got any eyelashes that are misbehaving or looking a little bit too thick because obviously this is a more minimal makeup look once i've done this eye and all of the product is like fully used up off the brush i then take my almost like dry brush and go over the lashes yeah that is how i get my eyelashes to look as separated and like fluffy as physically possible next i'm moving on to my brows and i'm using the hourglass brow sculpting pencil I'm just brushing my brows up if you have like really thick great brows that don't have like <laughs> patches missing like how did this happen if you don't have patches missing or anything just use a brow gel and save yourself the time quite frankly anyway i'm using the shade ash i was using warm brunette but this one given the fact that it's darker i have just found to look a little bit more natural which is slightly unexpected to be honest i literally just draw my hairs in if you struggle with this rest your chin rest your hand on your chin it will keep your hand steadier kind of drawing in where i want my brow hairs to be but then the way i keep them natural is like just running my finger over it and it kind of makes it look like actual hairs and like your brow is naturally fuller rather than having a drawn on line and if you're doing like no makeup makeup don't fill in the underside of your eyebrow like the difference between no makeup makeup and minimal makeup is just like a few subtle tweaks really i think the underside of the eyebrow is just a bit of a giveaway and really that's our difference between minimal makeup Makeup and no makeup makeup here is just whether you can tell someone is wearing makeup or not and to pair them back a bit I always just go over bits that look a bit like too much like the bits that kind of give it away and I just really lightly graze my finger over any of the lines that you can see and I'm using the hourglass brow sculpting gel and this is the clear one I always find the fluffier they look the less it looks like you've done your brows except it kind of does because who rolls out of bed and brushes their brows up so yeah very soft very fluffy you may have noticed that I have not concealed yet this is kind of like a take it or leave it step if you want it do it if you don't 
you know i do think it looks a little bit more lived in and a little bit more like real skin if you don't normally i would use the fenty concealer it's a lot more high coverage though so when i'm doing like flawless kind of like natural glam that is what i would use but today i'm going for something in a lighter coverage i'm going to use the armani concealer in the shade 4.5 it's a little bit light i'm not gonna lie so i'm just gonna like literally use a touch and we'll clean up here because this is just like a non-surgical facelift. I say that it doesn't look like that until you use flash photography and then it's like the best thing you've ever seen. And then I'm using this little square brush. If you watch my tutorials a lot, you'll know I love this square brush. And I'm just using that to kind of create this line and almost like pull my face up. Kind of like gives your makeup and your eye this little like lift. As you can see, there is a line and I said no harsh lines. So we're just taking our setting brush it's also got a little bit of that bronze on it which is really nice and we're just gonna go over that line and then also just blend under the eye as well and if we want to blend it in even more we can just go over with our eyeshadow brush from earlier and then you can go over if you want to again and you know work with the shape you're creating you can kind of see there's like a lift here but there's no like clear line when you're looking at my face which i love and then for lip liner i'm just going to define my cupid's bow i use max stone it works really well as a lip liner but also as like lip contour and then i also come under the bottom of my lip and smudge that out and then i also line my bottom lip and add a little bit of shadow here it makes the lip look a lot fuller in the center and because this lip liner is matte when the light hits it it's not like shiny and kind of gives it away whereas other lip liners that are really creamy give it away as you can see the product so just use it to really lightly line my top lip and then smudge that out and when i smudge it out i always push up and out and the mix of this and the highlighter gives us really good definition so you could just add some lip balm and leave it there you could add a gloss if you wanted to i'm going to use a liquid lip which I just think is like the perfect kind of spring nude. It has rolled under my bed, so please hold. So this is one of the Armani Lip Maestros. It is in the shade 103. And it's a beautiful like nude pink tone. I'd never used this until this week when they sent it to me and I was like, oh. This is perfect. It's really creamy, really comfortable on the lips, like not drying at all, really soft. It doesn't really like fully matte down you can matte it down with a tissue if you want i really love that i just love this makeup it's such a great one if you don't want to look too done and you don't like wearing like a lot of like eyeshadows and eyeliners and everything don't like contour all of that kind of thing but you want to look really pulled together really easily and you can also do this really quickly i can do this look in 10 minutes if i'm not <laughs> if i'm not gassing yeah this is how we are looking I'm so happy with how the skin look has come out. Like it's so glowy, but like good coverage at the same time, but it's all melted together really nicely. It's really low effort, but I still feel really pulled together and like fully ready for my day and my Zoom calls doom. I'm gonna pull you out now because as much as it's great that like we see the skin and we see how everything looks on the skin and I love seeing real texture, it's also good to see how things look like from afar, like from an actual person like looking at another person if that makes sense because no one other than yourself ever looks at your skin that close yeah this is our look our minimal pulled together natural looking makeup for spring i really hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye